Oh, you wanna know how to step in front of text in your videos? I got you. What's up, friend? Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. This is an editing trick that I use in most of my content, putting pictures and text behind me. I think it adds an interesting element to videos that you don't see too often, especially if you utilize this during your hook. Today, I wanna show you a quick and easy way to put photos and text behind you in your videos. We're gonna take your content to the next level with this one. But first, have you subscribed to the CapCut YouTube channel? We post a ton of product updates and tutorials that you definitely don't wanna miss. Okay, now that you're subscribed, let's open the Cap CapCut desktop app and get started. I already have my footage in my timeline and it's cut and ready. You wanna make sure that you've already done a basic rough cut of your video before adding this razzle dazzle. It'll just make it easier to keep your timeline clean and organized. Now in this first clip, I wanna add some text that says, let's talk. I want it to pop up as I'm sitting down in my chair, just like you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. To do this, I'm gonna start by heading into the text tab on the top left-hand side. From there, I'm going into text templates. I love using CapCut text templates because it's a huge time saver. I don't wanna spend those extra few minutes customizing my text, but if that's your speed, you do you. This editing trick will work and save you a ton of time regardless. Let's pull this template down and then move to the dynamic menu on the right-hand side to change what it says. I'm also gonna go into my player and move the text around to my liking. Here, I can move it anywhere I want, tilt it, or make it bigger or smaller. I'm making sure to put it in a spot that's legible while also being in the path that I'm stepping into to really show the effect. Okay, so the text is good to go you can see that it's in front of me when I sit down. Let me show you how to position myself in the foreground. First, I'm gonna copy my clip using Command C. Then I'll move my playhead to the beginning of that same clip and paste in the duplicate using Command V. You wanna make sure that your original clip and the duplicate line up perfectly. This is why I prefer to rough cut my video before doing this. It just makes it easier to line everything up. To ensure that everything's line up, you can also turn on auto snapping by pressing the N key or clicking the button on the right side of your timeline. This is gonna make your clips snap next together automatically, and it's also gonna show a blue line when you're perfectly lined up. Personally, I always keep this on to make sure that everything is lined up properly and there are no blank black screen moments in my content. You also wanna make sure that your duplicate clip is on top of your text in the timeline, so we're making a little clip sandwich. Next, I'll select my duplicate and move over to the dynamic menu on the right-hand side. I'll go into the cutout tab and then scroll down to auto cutout. When I check this box, CapCut is going to automatically remove the background of my duplicate. This will move my body to the foreground while keeping everything else in the back. Now, when I step into the frame, the text is behind me. You can do the same thing with photos or any other additions to your video. Let me show you. Let's say I wanted to add this non-cringy photo of myself instead of the text. The same steps apply. I'll add the photo where I want it to pop up in my timeline and then fix its placement in the video. Then I'll copy my clip, paste it, and then move it to the track above my photo. When I go to the right side menu and do that auto cutout, the picture is now going to appear behind me in the video. The auto cutout feature on CapCut has saved me so much time and energy. It does all the hard work for you, unlike other editing platforms where you have to mask yourself out. Once you get this process down, you'll notice that it only takes you a few seconds to do it each time. Honestly, sometimes it takes me longer to track down the photo that I want to insert. Stepping in front of text and photos is such an easy way to differentiate yourself and add a little pizzazz to your content. On social media, where attention spans are short and thumbs scroll quickly, editing in an attention-grabbing way is so important. Comment down below and let us know what else you want to learn about on the CapCut channel. Are there any other editing tricks that you've seen out there that you want to implement into your own content? You already know we have your back and we will definitely show you how to step up your editing game. Happy content creating. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.